how to use AI to build the first version of your product. This is part four of my series, how to go from zero to 10K per month as fast as possible, your AI app, startup, or community. Step one is to use AI for ideation. Just use a combination of ChatGPT, DeepSea, Gemini, Manus, GenSpark, just to brainstorm lots of different variations of the pain point you're solving, potential solutions, and narrow what's called your spec. This is essentially what your V1 will include what the tech stack will be, what is that initial feature set that is going to deliver an aha moment to your first 100 users. These are the tools I recommend you check out first. Lovable.dev, Space44 is the second one. Bolt.new, which also integrates with Expo for mobile apps. These are the three that I would recommend that you start with because you can get pretty far prototyping your vision and your workflows. Once you have a prototype where people can click around and use it and start to get value out of it, start showing it to your users. Start getting feedback on whether the workflows are intuitive, whether they make sense, whether this will solve an important problem. Take their feedback, use it as a loop to improve it. As your app grows in complexity, which is inevitable, usually folks transition from those tools to something like Cursor AI, Windsurf AI, or what I'm currently using, Claude Code. These AI coding tools will help you build the more complex parts of your app more easily. For stuff like authentication, database, where do you deploy it? Well, a lot of these apps integrate with Supabase, which is a database. It also has an authentication layer, which you can use. It's what I use for my app, it works great. And in terms of deployment, again, a lot of the low code, no code tools already integrate with something like Netlify, where you can deploy your app. The most important thing to keep in mind is to use whatever tools help you move as quickly as possible and iterate on feedback from customers. 